Welcome back to the Ghost Key. I am Gray, and today we have yet another finished first division match. I think that's all we're going to have, actually. I think we're out of all the other competitions that we could potentially be taking a part in. But anyway, um, at the end of... We are now in... What month are we in? June. June. We're in month... We're in month June. We're in the month of June now. Um, what is good about that is this. Um... We have a player that's on loan right now, Matthias Oyala. Um, he's coming back, and he's pretty good. He's got a lot of good potential and all that good shit. He should be coming back, which means that'll give us a little bit more bite up front, hopefully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the competitions we can be a part in, we're only, we're only alive in one of them. There's only in one of them still. But anyway, um, while you were away, also... Um, we had uh, an injury... Um, where was it? R2 Ar Hinkala. But he's not injured for too long. I honestly should probably put him out there in place of um, Hagblum. Uh, just, I don't know, just hoping to get, you know, a little bit better defense out of, you know, like I said, that's going to be what what really ruins us this year. And like I said, it kind of reared its ugly head against Yippo. But um, we are where we are now. And I suppose that's good, right? Um, but anyhow, we are now one point off of the top spot in the table, which is KTPs. We do have the match against Viking it next, and then we play KTP after today. So, that's what we have to look forward to. Um, hopefully we can knock them off and steal some points from them. That'd be great. Because we get to play Viking it, and it was, or Viking it just before that. It was right there, and we really should be taking all two of the points here today i'm not sure if i say it but i'm gonna go ahead and make sure i do that all over again um uh well you, you probably saw there all my my save files i have i i make a lot of backups i really do i just i, I get i get paranoid so i make a shit ton of backups and i name them funny things just to you know make myself giggle at a later date but anyhow um yeah, we have JJK up here today, and they are, as you saw, bottom of the table. We should should take all three points here today. There's really no reason why we should. We are away, which is going to be... How should I say this? Which is going to be very, um, very, very precarious. That's a very precarious position we're in, because we are playing away. A Rins, I forgot I had a Rins. I can play him today. I, I, you know, I might, I might do that. I might go ahead and just put him in there. And or no, let me think here. I'm trying to, I'm trying to weigh what my potentially best option. My potentially best. My God, my words are everywhere today. I mean, I might go ahead and do this. Or I could wait and hold on to that until the um, the Viking it game because. The KTP match is a weekday match, which means that we only had a few days rest. Um, also, um, we have six months left remaining on everyone's contracts. Um, there's only a couple people that I need to really re-sign. Awusu at this point, and um, Heightenen, I believe, is is there too. It's so is Stavsula. Other than that, um, the only players that are really... Um, ooh, I did not want to use that formation the only other players that oh wait a minute hold on let me, let me take a look at that son of a bitch hmm huh we have to we have to play around with that um the only players that are yeah those are the only ones that are really um in need of a new contract or ones that are really looking to resign the rest of them are just all these guys like Haikula and stuff like that a lot of these players who are not going to get any playing time Unless we have a slew of injuries, as we've already had. But, um, yeah. So, hopefully, hopefully, we're going to hope for the best and hoping we don't need those guys and all that good shit. Oh, and Monsalve, too. I may or may not re-sign him. I'm kind of on the fence about that right now. Um, not to be mean. I mean, you know, it's weird. It's a lot of the stuff that you're going to have, a lot of these decisions we're going to have to make at the end of this year are going to be banking on the idea that there's something better that we can get our hands on. Um, being in the top division, having more reputation, stuff like that are things that are going to help. 
but it's not necessarily going to give us, you know, it's not going to give us that, that, you know, guarantee. Um, and in truth, I mean, like I said, it depends on the type of money we have and, and how much, and that's something too. I don't know how much our wage budget is going to go up because if our wage budget goes up, you know, um, we're going to be able to, to do a lot more. And if it doesn't, then we're going to kind of be stuck where we're at. And, you know, that's, that's a problem. You know, like I said, I mean, it's having, having, knowing what your wage budget is going to be next year really helps you plan for what you're going to have to do. But we really don't know that yet. And that should be something that, you know, I'll have to, I'm not sure, um, maybe something, I mean, I'm going to do, I'm going to do the off season and all that good shit off camera. Like I said, I'm, I will do a, um, update video and let everyone know what's going on when we get there. But, um, you know, in, in truth, you know, we're not too far, not too far away. I mean, this is what our eighth match in the, the league. And I want to say we play 20 some games or something like that. Uh, I think we play each team like three times. So it's 24 games. Is that right? I, I think, um, when, or not 24 there's not eight teams it's 10 so that'd be fuck i can't do math <laughs> oh 27 right is that right 27 yeah 27 yeah yeah i think i think we play with 27 matches so like i said i mean it's not really we're we're um we're pretty deep into the season already i mean we're like i said we're almost a third of the way there so you know uh, the rest of the season will be um will be obviously like i said all 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 very important games but um also uh it, it is worth mentioning since we're on the subject of that um we are going to have a large squad going forward i mean like i said I, I don't i don't keep a small squad i believe in like a rotation policy youngsters with a rotation policy that's kind of what i do i mean it's usually my first team is obviously all my best players and then i'll have a second group a second 11 that's going to be mostly um you know mostly our developmental kids and those are ones that are going to be playing in not as important matches um we're going to be playing a lot more matches the better we get so as we get better uh you know there's just going to be a lot more a lot more matches for us to play and a lot more matches that aren't going to mean as much and obviously as as our team gets better and as our youngsters get better then we'll be able to you know have the luxury of putting out an entirely different young developmental team against you know the weaker teams in finland and that was bad touch right there so um no oh christ what was that see those are the things that really irritate me giving away needless needless um corner kicks and stuff that's like with the goalkeeper thing where they walk out of bounds back there where they pick up the ball god i hate that shit i hate that shit so much makes me so it irritates the hell out of me oh come on i mean we're giving we're giving jjk all the fucking reason in the world to believe that they can win this game right now in the first 10 minutes really but but like i said i mean we're gonna we're gonna have a really big squad as we go forward so yeah i mean that there's a lot of people out there who you know believe in having a very small a very small squad you know arsenal is a big a big example of that their their team is ridiculously small sometimes and you know the slightest injury can just throw everything out of whack too and that's something i i hate being forced into playing certain players nice 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 i hate being forced into having you know into not having options i hate that you know like with with the defenders i mentioned that last time but i didn't quite finish that thought i don't like having you know only a couple of defenders to choose from and if one gets injured it's the end of the world you know i don't i don't like that i like having security and depth and i think that you know i think that's something that really helps the way i the way i look at football as a as a marathon and not really a sprint i mean because you know like i said i mean the one point last time you know it may make all the difference in the world come the end of the season you know and sure three points would be nice and three points are what you aim to get every time you go out but you know a point is gonna is gonna give you better than nothing you know 
so like I said, I mean, that's kind of where we're at. See, you know, I really want to get Hanan in there going. He seems to be kind of waffling around out there, and he's playing that box-to-box -box midfielder role for us. But uh, I haven't seen him be as dynamic as as I'd like him to be. Not as many runs forward. That's one thing too. I kind of I kind of like on my goalway club. You know, I, the the guy that I had there in that box-to-box -the -box is offensively oriented, and so therefore he makes those late surging runs, you know, into the box and stuff, which is very very fun to have. Mm. See that that defending there wasn't bad. I mean, he they got got into a danger zone there. You know, want to really want to see the ball get to, but at least at least it was dealt with. You know, I mean, like I said, I'd rather give away fucking penalty kicks. Oh Christ! Good Lord. Another needless corner. Another needless corner. There's no reason for that. I mean, he just pick his pick that up with his hands. We didn't we didn't kick that back to him. I mean, that's that's an easy easy thing to deal with for a keeper. I say that that I don't mind. You know, he's clearing the ball and it ends up being a corner. Well, you know, it's that's fine. I'm I'm okay with that. But you know, goalkeeping errors like that, where they just kind of waffle around with that irritate the shit out of me. A lot of things irritate the shit out of me. If you haven't noticed. And I'm just saying. Oh, yeah, pass. You had... You had Harala. I think, no, no, that was Groundholm, sorry. They both look similar, don't they? The only difference, the only real difference being their boots. And I have no idea who wears what color boots, really. It's not something I commit to memory. Although, I do have a ton of players on my Galway team that have pink boots. It's, it's weird. Oh, that was a nice little header. Problem being, though, is Onal is more of that target man kind of kind of striker. There you go. Nice pass. Uh, Onal is, yeah, a bit more of that target man striker. And he's, he's kind of, he's not going to be one to run with it, unfortunately, in space. He's going he's gonna to look to hold it up. And I could I could change his role, but uh, you know I'll I'll keep him as a poacher for now, and and you know yeah, I've never been able to use target men all that well. I mean at least none of my none of my teams have had target men. You don't know, score or at least or I don't know at least in just in my opinion you know really really work out well for the team. Ah, good God, clear it. Don't do anything stupid with it. And right there, yeah, right there is where they just run through our defense. Just ran through it. I mean, there's nothing really, you know, just a halfway decent pass or two. And then, because we're, we don't really move around much on defense. That's that's the thing. That's the thing that irritates me. Especially with having players like Ryzenin and Heitenen out there. Those are a couple of players, especially Heitenen. They're older players. They should be, you know, getting around into those positions before. They should be anticipating the play a little bit more. At least that's the idea between between behind having um, older players is they're going to anticipate more and be in the right position, you know, when things happen. You know, and that's why Stasil has scored the goals he's scored is he's been able to do it. Oh, my God. Yeah, as I say, he's got to be offside. Got to be offside. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Cause see, this is uh, this 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 match is looking a lot like the last one. You know, where we we've got to defend, and I don't like having to sit back and defend. I don't have faith in that on this on this team. Not yet, anyway. I mean, it's just like I said, don't really have much for options, but. You know, it, it is what it is. I think I am going to make that change, though, with Hinkala. I'm going to try that with take him out whenever Hinkala is um, healthy again, which actually isn't going to be long. I forgot. I think I forgot to mention that. He's only out for a few days, so... Jesus Christ. Get rid of it and just clear it. Thank you. Jesus. Oh, no. What are you doing? What are you doing? Thank you. 
It's no, I don't still don't know what's going on. What is Heightenen doing there, running around with the ball like that? Just clear the lines, guys. Come on. Ugh. And that's why you clear the lines, cause shit like now you gotta give up a corner that we, we really never should have, never should have given up. And luckily they miss everybody on the fucking <laughs> on the fucking corner. That's that's rare. Yeah, and that's something too. Like um, I I did I did do one thing. Um, Oh shit, nope, I did not want to do that. Cancel. Yes, discard my changes. Um. Oof. Uh, fuck, I don't remember what I was going to say. Oh, um. The foul count. Yeah, that's, that is one thing that I, um. Had a little bit of trouble with, um, when I first started playing this game. First started playing FM14, I was. My guys are getting fucking cards everywhere but i had the i had the um instruction uh, hassle opponents with which to me sounds like you know closing them down i guess i don't know i mean that's that's what it sounded like you know closing them down and being pesky and annoying you know and and kind of you know sitting in the back park it park it pocket oh nice good nice tight control see that's that's once again what we can do we can we can do shit like that. Now we just have to make sure we keep them off the board. But anyhow, um, but apparently, you know, like I said, when you when you click the hassle opponents thing and and there, it's it means go foul fucking persistently. It's a bit ridiculous. It was just cards everywhere. And then, I, like I said, I took that off because I thought that was being a little bit more, you know, assertive and really once again hassling opponents defensively. But that, you know, that's something to be aware of if you want to play that sort of game. Which isn't bad sometimes, honestly. You know, if you want to do that, go right ahead, because it can actually it can actually work. That's one thing I do like to do though. When you when you play better teams, just get up and foul hard and and disrupt them. I mean, that's one of those things that I like doing on this game. You know, it's not not necessarily something that always works out real well, but if you can just go out there and just foul the opposition hard and you know really disrupt the flow of everything they've got going for them. Why are you so far inside there, Heightenen? That was... Ah, oh, Christ. In fact, that's kind of it's kind of what my team did when I... When I played, uh... When I won my last, uh... What the hell's it called? Champions League. Yeah, there we go. That's the fucking words I'm looking for. When I won the last Champions League on my Galway file, we kind of went out and played Bayern Munich and just fucking... Blew them up. I mean, we had a few fouls, but... We just went out there and just... Yeah, you know, well, like I said, just disrupted, tackled hard, you know, targeted certain players to just, you know, every time they get the ball, give them hell. And that's something that's very, very useful. You saw that actually in the World Cup. That's what, um, that's what, uh, God, what's their names? Uh, that's what the Netherlands did to Spain. Is they just went out there and hassled them and fouled them hard in midfield, closed them down relentlessly, and really, really blew up Spain. But anyway, that's, that's, conversation for another time i suppose and finally we've got some good body language here looking calm that's finally nice to see people who are at least composed and know what they're doing here and i'd, li I'd like a little bit more confidence and some better hand decisions here on the ball like this this is you know uh, he's, in, he's gonna get lucky with that that it actually made it uh, all the way out there to to harala but now yeah see lazy passes like that are what really hurts us because now yeah i mean all it takes is a couple passes and they can really because we don't have because we don't have really anyone with a lot of pace back there or anything when, every time they make just a couple passes they they get uh they they just open us up oh jesus and then you know we do that late passes it's just yeah, it's just i don't know that shit. Just all right, Hananen. See, like I said, he's too far. He's too far. He's supposed to be a box to box midfielder. And he's too far, too far back here. I mean, he's he needs to be up here supporting about where Stavstila is right now. Really, that's that's usually where my where he is on my uh, 
where that position, that uh, player in that position is on my Galway file. It's always, always up there, you know, being a part of the attack. And that's something that helps out a lot because it kind of unbalances the side defensively. You know, gives, it, it makes, causes problems because you don't have, you don't have everyone always in the same spot. You have people kind of staggering around in that line. So therefore, those players that are coming in a little bit later as a box-to-box -box midfielder have a little bit more room to, to decide what they're going to do with it. Ow. Somebody clear it. Jesus Christ. <sighs> See, yeah, I mean, it's it's one of those things where, like, what you're seeing right now is, is our lack of skill in the defending department. I mean, we had defenders, but they're not super skilled as defenders. So you have things like that happen where they scuff the ball, they miss it, they don't deal with it appropriately same thing with the keeper the keeper should have had that but without a doubt but because he is not very good he's gonna fumble it around down there i mean oh jeez see we just keep sending it to whoever's on that back line back there now i mean we haven't we're having real troubles getting past them oh that's a beautiful run that's something too, like the way Oil Nile plays that. I, I like that. He as a target man and something like that when he turns and passes, because of the way our ooh, because of the way our our wingers attack the ball, attack the box, gives him good options. And if he can just sit there for a minute and just be strong and, and hold up the ball, you know we're we're in good. All right, I'm gonna be nice and tell him I'm happy with him, but I have a feeling. We're going to surrender a goal. At least one. I really do. I mean, oh shit. KTP. Yeah, there we go. See, like I said, that's one of those things that, like, KTP is at the top of the table right now with us. But they're losing to Viking it right now. Or not losing, but they're drawing with Viking it. And that's good. Like I said, that's that parity is good. That means even if we do slip up like we did last time, there's going to be there's going to be some leeway there. Let's see, now this is where he's got two players, Harala again. <sighs> At least we get a corner out of it. But like I said, I mean we haven't figured out how to be how to be consistent on corners here, so using them as a viable attacking option is practically non existent for us right now. And especially a team like this. I and mean, it's just In fact, honestly, I think I think my defenders on my goalie team, I don't keep talking about that, and I and I apologize. So that's annoying anybody. I mean, it's just, it, it's, it's. I guess it's what I have to compare this game to, or compare at least this team to. Oof. But uh, anyway, I'm back on my Galway file. Most of my defenders, I think, last couple seasons have been scoring from corners with their feet instead of their heads. I don't know how that's really happening, but it is, and this is bad. This is bad. Oh, well, yeah, lucky he put way too much on that and basically just hoofed it up there for my goalkeeper to hang on to. Yeah, I don't, I don't like him running around the way he's been running around. Or this guy. This guy's starting to piss me off. <laughs> quite honestly, quite honestly, quite honestly. Jesus, cannot speak today. I don't know what my problem is. Oh my. Seriously, cats, shut the hell up. Like, hey, he's recording. Ah, oh, see, there it is. <sighs> see, I told you they'd get, and this is something too, you will never see a fucking keeper save this. Never. Ever, 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 ever. This is a guaranteed goal every time. So here it is, 2-1. Oh my god, of course I say that. You know, I'm just gonna fucking say that every time. Seriously, I don't even think I haven't seen a goalkeeper save that since I started playing FM14. FM12, it happened every once in a while. The keepers actually had a shot, but that's that's amazing. I'm I am in shock, in shock right now. Oh, don't do anything stupid. Yeah, you got Heighten and all alone, and now oh oh, oh no, nice. Very, very, very nice. Especially, like I said, for more of a target man. You know, striker. 
It's not, that's not bad. Um, you know, I could, I could change some things up here and kind of think around with our formation, but I might not do that yet. I am going to wait till, um, I'll, I'll wait till preseason and, and do that. Cause uh, the Christmas tree formation thing that I've been talking about, uh, what the hell is it? Like four, three, two, one. Yeah, that's, I've been trying to play around with that. I think I've got one that's kind of going to be this semi hybrid of what we're playing now with a, with, with a, um, on the defensive midfielder, so um, I hope to unleash that at some point soon. Mostly because I just I did not like the way that there's too much room between the um, the the three midfielders and the defense. There's all, all all sorts of room back there for defenders to exploit and shit like that. Oh, nice pass, nice, nice four nil. And finally, we show show off a little bit of our of our of our striking ability. That's that's good to see finally. Um Yeah. Oh, uh I don't if if any of you out there want to see certain things like these are the I don't even know what the hell they call these, it's like the match match day info or things. These are just like the basic ones I have. Like obviously if there's more stats or whatever and this is oof, I thought that was gonna be a goal. If there's any other stats that you guys want to see up there or anything like that i usually keep this especially if we're in just you know league competition just to just to keep an eye on how everyone else is doing obviously i watch the ktp score you know subconsciously hoping that they lose or at least draw which is wonderful which would put us back at the top of the table especially with the four goal margin that we have now um but like i said if there's anything anyone wants to see down there let me know and i can Put it up there i mean like i said i'm not really set in stone as to you know the shit that i have all around over here i just kind of put stuff up here and you know i mean like i said I, I like the stats over here and this team ratings thing i don't really necessarily need it's just one of those things that kind of ended up there i was like yeah that might be useful to have but anyhow that's that's that and we are going to make some substitutions finally i think i think we can oh fuck uh I might just leave those two on then. then. But we are going to put Nermela out there for Jose and Hanan is, Hanan is playing well today. Look at that. He, has, he does have a couple of assists, so I'm not, not too upset there. Um, Let's go with Michaela and take Harala and put Harala down for her a little bit. Um... We shouldn't run into any issues with, um, what the hell is it called? We shouldn't run into any issues with players getting jaded because we don't, we aren't going to play that many games. I mean, I don't, I don't anticipate. Damn, KTP scored. That's unfortunate. And that means we dropped down, isn't it? Yeah. Should be anyway. Yep. Yeah, this is saying, God damn it. Come on, Viking it. Give us another goal. Oof. That's... <laughs> oh my. And if this is a hat trick, then he is... Oh, almost. Usually with players with two goals, I let him stay out there. And just give him, a, let me look, give him a shot at that hat trick. So I was like, yeah. So I left them all out there. Although usually I would take him off with a card at this point, um, just to be just to be safe. So you know nothing stupid happens, you know, or any crazy injuries happen. You know, I have had a lot of problems with that in this game, but hopefully, really hope we are able to avoid one of those. Because there's sometimes that this game will just give you like four injuries straight away. I mean, like in one whole match and then yeah you use up you know all your all your substitutions in the first half and injuries and then they injure more people and it's like well shit now i gotta play down a man with you know completely you know no help whatsoever it's it's really frustrating i i hate that shit i hate that shit hate that shit hate that shit i will probably rage the fuck out when that happens seriously it's gonna happen eventually it always fucking does but no. 
I don't know how he was on sides there. It looked like he kind of came back from an offside position to get to that ball. But, you know, I don't know. It's just, that's just me. Wow. That was a hell of an angle he got on that. Hmm. Oh my. Oh my. Yeah, see. I mean, we're, we're winning by four goals. But they have put up a pretty good shot count themselves today. I mean, quite honestly, you know, our goalkeepers played pretty well. Um, you know, because otherwise, I don't, I don't I know for a fact the score wouldn't be what it is without him obviously making at least one quality save and I'm going to say a couple others as well, but that's, once again, worrying. I mean, like, even when we have a clean sheet, it's mostly down to the goalkeeper being really, really good, which is the case today. I mean, he's been very, very good, but it's not necessarily... I know I know, I know the ratings here say our fucking defenders have been great, but, uh, you know, like I said, with 13 shots, five of which on goal, two clear-cut chances, it's not really... It's not really what I would call a suffocating defensive performance. Hanan and oh my god, what was that? Jesus. Oh, he got that got deflected. I was gonna say he sent her to the fucking moon. Jesus. Oh my. Did did Haglum once again did Haglum just score with his foot? With his foot. He should be climbing the ladder to get ahead on that. And yet he scores with his foot with his foot see see the problem here like I said don't quite know how to I can get them scoring off of those at least traditionally anyway I mean it's oh geez oh he had him he had him all and now he's gonna put that lazy pass in there and Jesus if Stavsilo ran onto that could have nicked it away from him there but all in all, a pretty good performance so far. I mean, I can't be too too excited. There's plenty of shit to work on, though. I mean, clearly. <laughs> I mean, they've clearly been, you know, lacking in the defensive department. I'm probably probably gonna have to go and start and start messing with some stuff in training. Usually, I let the coaches, the assistant coaches, take care of that, but. I haven't been because I just, quite honestly, been a little bit lazy and oh my god, the hell with it. All right, but we do walk away with a five nil win, and that's 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 good, you know. Um, and we yeah, we decided to fucking <laughs> we took matters into our own hands and denied JJK a goal after the referee wrongly gave us apparently wrongly gave us a. Uh, gave us a penalty against us but anyhow um i think that does it for this episode that's a long match that, that one took a long time now there's a lot there's a lot going on especially in that second half but anyhow um if you've made it this far on youtube you know what to do thanks a lot for watching and remember the ghost key is the only place where pants are optional